Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. Square root of x over 2x equals 8 to the power of negative 1. And um, I want us to deal with this in two ways. Okay, the first method to use, um, let's say that this right here, we can rewrite it, and it will be 1 over 8, according to one of the laws of indices. So, we will still write this here, over 2x. But square root of x is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 2. Then we have 2x. This is equal, this is equal to 1 over 8. Now, what do I do? We can now decide to cross multiply. Yes, we can cross multiply. So that if we do that, we have 8x to the power of 1 over 2 equals 2x. Because 2x times 1 is 2x. Now, we can reduce this equation by dividing both sides by 2. This is going with this. Now, this will go here four times. We have 4, 4x to the power of 1 over 2 equals 2x. Oh, 2 has cancelled itself, so we have just x over here. But then, we still have x to the power of 1 over 2 here, so we are going to square both sides. We square both sides so that this um, power of half will go. We have 4x to the power of 1 over 2, all squared. And then on the other side, we have x squared. 4 squared is 16. Now, this will now go with this, and we have just x, which is equal to x squared. And you know how we do it. The one with the highest power always comes first. So we should write x squared. Now, this is going to meet the other side. So we now have negative 16x. This is now equal to 0. And this method gave us a quadratic equation. We can solve this by factorization. Here we have 1x minus 16 because x is already out. And this is equal to 0. We can say that x equals 0 or x minus 16 equals 0. Our x remains 0 or x equals 16, that is 0 plus 16, and that is 16. Therefore, our x is 0 or 16. But then, this is what we have from the first method. Let's um, apply the second method and see whether we'll have um, this same solution. Okay, so the equation is still square root of x over 2x equals 8 to the power of negative 1. Now, let me deal with what I have on the left. You know, this can be written as 1 over 2 root x over x equals 81 okay sorry that is 8 8 to the power of 1 right because um, if you multiply this it will give you this right back okay now let's continue from here do you know that if I want I can multiply this here by 2 so that if I do that I will have square root of x over over x equals 2 multiplied by 8 to the power of negative 1. You know, these are the same thing, right? Now, let's work on what we have here. Now, this is um, x to the power of um, 1 over 2 over 
x to the power of 1. Because square root of x is x to the power of 1 over 2. Then on the other side, this is 2 to the power of 1. Multiplying 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Then this 3 multiplied by negative 1 will give us negative 3. Okay, so from here, since we are multiplying, how do I say it? Since we are dividing, we pick one of the bases, which is x. Then we now have 1 over 2 minus the power of the denominator, which is 1. Then on the other side, we have 2 to the power of 1. We are supposed to add since we are multiplying. But then negative and positive will give negative. So we have negative 3. Now from here, we have x to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 is minus 1 over 2. And that will be equal to 2 to the power of negative 2. That is 1 minus 3. Now from here, do you know that we can remove this negative first of all as we get, um, as we get 1 over x? to the power of 1 over 2. Then on the other side, if you want to remove the negative, you will have 1 over 2 to the power of 2. This means that we have 1 over x to the power of um, 1 over 2 being equal to 1 over 4. Now what do we do? Our next target is to remove this power. And we do that by squaring. So we have 1 over x, 1 over x to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by 2. We square the power. I mean, we multiply the power again by 2. Then on the other side, we have 1 over 4. Then we square this. This is picking this out. Then we have 1 over x on the left. And it's equal to 1 over 16. Now, if you have this problem, you should be able to know that your x is simply 16. And this is because since we have the same um, numerator and the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, it means that the denominator must also be equal. So our x is just um, 16. But the first method gave us x to be equal to 0 or 16. This is all we got from the first method. But then let's put it in the equation and see which one is satisfying. Um, we have square root of x over 2x equals 8 to the power of negative 1. Okay, you can see that 0 will not satisfy. Okay, because if you put 0 here, it can never give you 8 to the power of negative 1 on the right. In other words, x to be equal to 0 has to be rejected since it will give us um, an undefined um, expression or undefined um, solution. So the solution is x equals 16. Thank you for watching.